All right, hello and welcome everybody. Today we're gonna to be going over surface areas in HA 2000. So there's just a couple things to keep in mind. Um, below grade's done a little differently than above grade for the most part. And we're gonna be using SketchUp. Um, you know, if you need to calculate the surface area of a triangle, anything like that, you can either look up the equation or just use SketchUp. SketchUp's super easy. Because basically all we're gonna be doing is surface area divided by perimeter over and over again. Just um, with the basement, you gotta use the full perimeter all the time, just how it works. I'll go over that a little bit more in detail in a minute. And for the above grade, it's just whatever this, wherever you're clicking for your surface area in SketchUp, use that perimeter. It's pretty much that simple. So let's uh, hop into it. So I've got my little SketchUp drawing here. So this is our basement, this is our main floor, and that's the model built together. Um, I've chosen a walkout, which is normally, they're done differently, so um, I've got another video how to go over that. So for this, let's just pretend it's not a walkout. Um, let's pretend it's a normal basement for this video, okay? And um, basically, yeah, it's just going to be surface area divided by perimeter, and so what we need for basements in HA 2000 is our below grade surface area and our pony wall surface area, and it's automatically going to calculate sort of the concrete foundation that is above grade. It's gonna know the difference between all of that. So, to get started, we'll just get our surface area by holding control, clicking all the way around. Our below grade, which is 586.98. And I've got this little Excel sheet, but as you can see, all it's doing is saying surface area divided by perimeter. So, for our below grade, we've got 586.98. 586.98 and we'll just get our perimeter easiest way to do that if you have your drawing broken out like this in SketchUp you just double click then hold shift and click on the floor area to get rid of it and now we've got our perimeter of 194 so we're going to use 194 for below grade and we're going to use it for the pony wall as well so now we just need to get our pony wall surface area and pony wall for basements refers to any wood framed walls below grade. So if you had, say, a garage coming out here somewhere, that would be considered pony wall as well if it's wood framed. So now we've got our area 840.41. We'll go back here. 840.41. So we've got our average heights for our basement. We will hop into HA 2000, click on our foundation. I always like to do non-rectangular. 194 for our perimeter. Our basement floor area is going to be 16.22. And our basement height, we'll grab that just by clicking on one of these lines. 7.88. And our depth below grade, 3.03. .03. Add a pony wall. 4.33. So what I'm going to do next is just add any other foundation type because that's going to give us some info down here just so you can kind of see how HA 2000 does calculations. So I'm just going to add a slab, it doesn't matter. And you can see here that we've got our below grade area is 587.82. It's pretty close, just a rounding difference between HA 2000 and Excel. And our above grade area is 940.9, .9, which is about 100 square feet more, but that's accounting for the concrete foundation that is above grade. So what HOT2000 is actually doing is going total basement height 7.88, perimeter is 194, multiply those together, that gives us our above and below grade, and then it uses the below grade height times the perimeter to get this, and then it takes the pony wall height, multiplies it by the perimeter to know how much the above grade's pony wall and how much is not pony wall. Um, if we had another foundation attached to this and we alter our exposed perimeter, which would be all of the perimeter of the entire basement except what's touching the other foundation. So if there's a crawl space attached or another foundation that's offset or something like that. Um, so say you can see here, if I change this perimeter and make it smaller, it's gonna affect my above grade and below grade because what it's doing is saying the basement's 194, 120 of that is exposed to the ground. 
um, not to the other part of the basement. So 194 minus 120 times your 7.88 accounts for your interior area, which is just, you know, the space where your one basement's hitting another foundation of some kind. Um, but normally, if you only have one basement, it just look like this. And you can see we don't get that info. Um, yeah, and then to do our above grade walls, so we could put in, say, all of our walls together, um, except I can't include that. For me, this is this means there's like stone finish on the front, pink is vinyl, the orange is shared garage, but we could combine all the pink together. But before we do that, I'll just show you quickly how to do just the gables. So click on one, control click the other, we've got our area 76.56, so let's say 76.56. And then the perimeter, in this case, just that perimeter and this perimeter. So 35. That's going to give us an average height to enter in HOT 2000 of 2.19. So in HOT 2000, if we just did the gables, we would say the height is 2.19, the perimeter is 35. Or we could go and control click our entire above grade walls that are all the same. 1386.81 so we switch this to 1386.81 but now we also need to adjust our perimeter it's going to be the full perimeter minus these two walls so i'm just going to double click hold shift click on the floor and then hold shift and click on those two lines that i don't need because those are garage so our perimeter is going to be 169.25 so 169.25, so we've got an average height of 8.19. So if I was building that wall, I would come up here, I'd build my wall code, um, and then I would say my height, 8.19, and my perimeter of 169.25, and you can see it gives us pretty darn close to this. There's just more rounding going on here. There's more digits you can't see. That's why it's slightly different, but um, you know, we're within less than a square foot. I'm going to count that as good. All right, and that's everything for this video, short and sweet. Um, I would like to thank the commenter for requesting a video like this, so I'm hoping you're using SketchUp. Um, if not, you know, it's just a matter of measuring things on site, measuring out those triangles, putting in the perimeter, the height, doing the math, adding that in, so... Um, SketchUp's so much simpler though, because it's literally no matter what you do, no matter what shape you have, surface area divided by perimeter is going to give you the right adjusted height and perimeter for HOT 2000. Alright, well thank you everybody, and have yourselves a good one.